How's everybody over there on the We Are Doom Clan channel doing? My name is Doom Quad here, and today I have a really, really, actually kind of different gameplay for you guys. This is going to be a nice 34 solo gun streak, of course, getting a chem strike again. Like I said, solo playing a little bit of some 6v6 domination. I do believe on the Xbox 360 on Siege, which Siege, uh, earlier in my live stream today, I was complaining about this map. I, I don't like it. It's huge. If you actually think about it, it's practically even bigger than maps that we don't really like things like whiteout like this is actually if you go far back enough like you can go places where you don't even think you can go on this map honestly I didn't know half these places exist on this map but I'm not really here to complain I'm here to talk about the custom class system in this game but first off I want to give a really big shout out to doom turkey please go make sure to give him a follow on his Twitter down in the description below and go subscribe to his YouTube really cool guy actually really really definitely awesome at getting gameplays so again I, I want to talk about about the custom sort of the custom classes that I've really been missing but the things that I really really enjoyed about this game uh, or enjoy about this game because this game is of course still the main Call of Duty it's gonna be like that for the next eight or nine months or whatever it is because this game has still got quite a long time in its life cycle which I'm enjoying COD Ghosts you know I enjoyed Modern Warfare 3 the most out of any Call of Duty I'm sure a lot of you guys know that just because I say it so much in my live streams on my videos on my Twitter I say Modern Warfare 3 is always gonna be my favorite COD and I really feel like it really will always be my favorite COD just because specialists and that's also why I just talked about that because that leads me a little bit more to talk more about the custom class setup in Call of Duty Ghosts, which I'm glad they brought back a a Assault. A assault. I'm glad they brought that back. I'm glad they brought back Support and Specialist. I think they could have done <clears throat> the Specialist just a little bit better, but... You know, I think the way they did it still really isn't that, you know, menacingly different from the Modern Warfare 3 specialist setup. But uh, besides the fact that you get all the perks in Modern Warfare 3 and you don't get all the perks in this, you can see right there he picks up the chem strike because I did fast forward it a little bit. But I wanted to fast forward that part so I, I could have some more time to, you know, kind of talk about... Uh, talk about the custom classes because this is a uh, you know also not just a camp strike like I said earlier to solo 34 gun streak again only using the magnum and speaking of the magnum and speaking of pistols I never use anything besides a you know a primary in Call of Duty Ghost which is quite surprising to a lot of people especially people like Turkey who like to use the magnum a lot and go for these crazy gameplays which I don't even understand how they get them when just using a pistol because this pistol the magnum you shoot so freaking slow with it honestly you shoot so slow it it's really just it's not a good gun but I mean in hardcore it's a decent gun but still it's a lot harder to use than using like an AK-12 or like a honey badger or something like that it's still really really hard to use in this game mode or in any game mode of that in this game in general so I'd say whenever I pick up a pistol I kind of just try and find another gun to you know switch it out for because I never rock a secondary so I can have more perks and I was telling that to one of my friends he was wondering like why do I never see you use a secondary in your videos and he said that he didn't know you could do that which I was quite surprised because that was something that I figured out because I did get Call of Duty Ghost a few days early, four or five days early. I, I actually figured out that I don't think I figured it out, but I, I used it that you know you could take off a secondary and a lethal and a concussion grenade or a tactical. You could take all those off, and for every single one of those that you took off, you were able to get another slot for another perk, which perks in this game really make you such a different player. Honestly, when I have Stalker on with an assault rifle, I do so much better when I have quick draw on with an SMG or steady aim on with an SMG or agility to make you be able to run faster it's such a huge it, it's just such a huge difference I, I I can't explain it in words really per perks are huge in this game but so one of my friends didn't know that you couldn't do that which some of you guys who are watching this video probably don't know over on doom clan which is you know kind of surprising but you know there's just, of course I'm sure there's a lot of things in Call of Duty Ghosts that I've you know I, that I've yet to figure out even though I do spend quite a lot of time on Call of Duty in general but I do hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully enjoyed this gameplay make sure to go ahead and check out doom turkey down in the description below he's an awesome player awesome guy too okay so follow, go, go ahead and follow him on Twitter too. follow me on Twitter and check out my YouTube channel if you guys want to do that uh, I also live stream a lot twitch.tv slash quad mft maybe that'll be a link down there too it's been quad mft and I'll be seeing you guys in my next video on doom clan